Now that's been dealt with. Could jump to a store. I want to hit up these beacons before I hit up the exit, so let's go to the store. There's never anything at an exit nebula beacon. It's a, a, Actually, I think it's a bug in the game, but there's nothing ever there. There's nothing, nothing ever gonna be there. Can't afford it. Could afford it. Don't need it. Prepare a little bit and then jump. Ooh, Ion Storm, huh? Let's get some more power first. I would like to fight here. We can handle it, even if it is gonna be annoying. Uh, they have three weapon power, I have three shield power. I cannot get the glaive beam powered up with my shields active at the same time. Although I do have a backup battery. So we can temporarily use that to power up, you know, like shields or dodge chance or something. Um, I mean, what we could do is power it up in order to get the hull laser up, you know? So we can use hull laser, burst laser, and try to, like, take out their shield system. I don't want them to fire at me with drones, so maybe, we'll, maybe we're just going to kill them by uh, hitting their piloting. Start a breach, make it so that every subsequent shot is going to be able to land. Maybe then take out O2 and Med Bay or something, but. You know. Basically, I just want to destroy the ship. So they are trying to get away. And because they're trying to get away, they put all of their power into shields and engines. But. Oh, I was going to say, but their piloting's offline, but it was not offline. It is now online. Uh, they might get away, honestly, because. They have three bars of shields. I have to hit them very accurately. Glade Beam won't penetrate their shields, and they're almost gonna get away. Not quite gonna get away yet. We did start a breach in the piloting room. Come on, 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 come on. Hey! Close one. One more beacon, and then we can get out. Get out of this freaking nebula sector, man. Attack him. Why? Eh, we're just assholes. That pretty much explains everything. We're just a bunch of freaking assholes. Although, uh, we cannot kill the ship. That's not true. We can kill the ship. It's going to be really freaking difficult and annoying, though. My god. Okay, cloak out of the way in the missile. This is a defense drone Mark II. It shoots down my lasers. They have three bars of shields, meaning I have to land with at least four shots to hit them, but if they shoot down one of my lasers, I have to hit with five shots to do one point of damage to them. This is a long combat. If we can take out their uh, defense drone, though, we can hit, him, hit them with more shots, which is what we're gonna try to do while we dodge missiles. It is a Lido, though. It's only gonna do one point of damage every time it lands. That's not bad. Keep hitting them in the missile launch, or in their uh, drone room. Keep that drone offline. That missile did miss. Maybe hit him in shields now. Yeah. They'll run out of missiles after like 10 or so. I should have, I should have dodged that one, 100%. Let's do it now. There we go. Breach the drone room. Such an annoying encounter. <laughs> we need um we need to get more weapon power, I'm noticing. Because if we had more weapon power, I could put the glaive beam online with like the burst laser, and then we could do a lot of damage. A lot more damage rather. We don't need shields that high. I kinda mismanaged my um weapon order there, but it's not too bad. Am I not cloaking when those missiles are coming in? I really should be. Oh, depower the weapon. Thank you. <sighs> you know, I'd love to be able to dodge some of these missiles. 
We dodged one, I think. They're dying slowly, but, you know, we're, we're taking, you know, one point of damage, one point of damage, one point of damage, one point of damage. Okay, they're out of missiles, so we're not taking any more damage, luckily. Again, I'm, I'm mishandling the uh, weapon systems a little bit. It doesn't freaking matter, okay? They're gonna be dead. We're gonna kill them. We're gonna get some awesome sweet loot. Hopefully. And then we'll be done! Combat Drone Mark 136 scrap. I'm gonna take it, because we can go to a store and sell it, so that's like a 50 scrap encounter. That's, that's worth the damage we took. We made a profit. Super annoying, but we made a profit. Okay. And now we have a, a rather dangerous encounter, because we have to go through a rebel beacon. But we have a cloak. There's no ASB because it's in a nebula. They have three bars of shields. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven effective laser shots. That's actually not a laser, that's a flak. One beam, they're gonna board us. But we have a cloak. Oh my god, you freaking jerks, okay? You're all jerks. Stop hurting my crew. Stop it. Is this when I want to dodge? I think this is when I want to dodge. Because I want to kill these two crew members aboard my ship. Because if they die, I won't get boarded again. Okay, now you guys go to the med bay, please. You should leave too. Now leave that up. Okay. Those two laser shots don't matter. We need to finish getting everyone set. Shields online, level three, we're gonna need it. You get into the engine room, please, and help us dodge. 20%, Ugh, can we get it to 30? Third, 27%, good enough. Okay, you go into shields. Good stuff, we're making progress. We're almost able to leave. We might not want to, though. We might be able to kill the ship, but the only thing we would get out of it is one fuel. We have 21 fuel, who cares? We're leaving. It does not matter. If you can do it, if you can guarantee no damage, take it out for the one fuel. If you can't, don't worry about it. Just leave. So we left, and I would do it again. Now what do we need? We need one more weapon upgrade, which means we need one more scrap. I would love to have the glaive beam plus a laser at the same time. Aid the civilians, absolutely. Um, this is a glaive beam encounter. Most definitely. I should have let them board me so I could kill them. Ah, small mistake, small mistake. Ooh, excuse me, I had a sneeze. Me and my sneezes. Uh, we don't need shields powered up that high. They can't break through my shields at all. Thanks to Automated Reloader, thanks to having, you know, a couple of good trained personnel. Oh my fucking god, I hate these guys so much. We can, uh... We can handle them. We're gonna get a shot off before they fire a missile or a bomb. And we took the missile launcher offline, which is what we wanted. Just, just delay him. No, get, get out of the room! No! Oh! Seven HP. Go down. Go around. Hold on. Auto fire. I got, I got stuff to deal with here. Pip a luck. Pip a luck! We made it. What a boy! All right, the mantises have now made it into the door room though, which sucks, but that's okay. Actually, I want them in the, um, I want them in the weapons room so I can gang up on them. So I'm actually gonna send people up back into the weapons room. Ion bomb. This is a good time to 
Cloak. We don't need shields powered up even that much. We can depower them a little bit more. Oxygen's offline. Good. Send you in there for a distraction. You too. Just waiting for the oxygen to run out of that room and leave. Perfect. You have HP. You have HP. You'll be fine. Honestly, I don't care if these mantises leave, but I want the combat training too. Every time you get a kill in combat, you get a little bit of training on it. So, you know, whatever works. You guys get healed up. You guys are next. One more shot from the glaive beam and they will die. And I don't even have to do anything about it because it's going to happen automatically. Annoying. But they're dead. 27 scrap and... The civilian ship that was being chased by the pirate made a fast retreat while we distracted them. What jerks. I wanted some rewards. I'm not doing this out of the kindness of my heart, even though I work for the Federation and we're supposed to be, you know, above morals and all that good stuff. I'm doing this for money. Distress, but it's a dead end. We skip. I will repair 10 damage. It's on the cheap. You don't really need to repair damage at those encounters, but because it was on the cheap, I decided to. You never want to repair to full. Not until the end of the game. Because you find events that give you repairing for free. Missile launcher, two bars of shields, drone. I will attempt to download the ship's data stores because then we can get into a fight maybe. How do we want to handle this? We probably want to do it by powering up the burst laser and cloaking immediately. Here's my plan. Fire the burst laser, take down the shields. Fire the glaive beam, take down the missile launcher. Because if they have no shields, the glaive beam will do more damage. Now, it means we won't be able to necessarily dodge the missile, but if, if it's a... a Breaching missile, we might be able to if we can get the cloak powered up in 20 seconds. Oh, we can definitely do it then. If it's a Hermes missile, we won't, but that's okay. So fire. Okay, so we're only gonna do two points of damage, but that is enough to take out one or the other. It took out the missile launcher. That's ideal. Good. Good night, Black Hattie. Thanks for stopping by. And for the cheers once again. There we go. Now they're destroyed. We get 32 scrap and nothing else. That's okay. 32 scrap is enough. Do we need reactor power? Not really. We still have this backup battery. We haven't touched it because we haven't been needing it. We need to go to a store and we need to get... Or dodge chance, I think. It's morning. Well, it's night for me. <laughs> Crappy missile launcher, a couple of bombs. I think we do the same thing. First laser, glaive beam, we do as much damage as possible, and we cloak immediately. And if we need dodge chance, make sure that we use the backup battery, because it's free power that we're not using. Hotkey B. Can I remember that? No. So do it now so I don't forget, and also depower O2. We missed one, but that's okay. We can still hit with uh, the rest of the beam. Missile launcher is still online. Looked like it was Alito. It is. So it would only do one damage. If it hit, which it didn't. NG's getting their shield system repaired very quickly, which is unfortunate for me. Another Alito incoming. Dodged it again. And now, thanks to the training that we got on the pilot, I think, we have a 40% base chance of dodging. Lovely. It's an ion bomb. I don't really care if it lands too much. Worst case scenario is it lands on the, uh, the weapons room, but they're dead. Okay. 
Next. <laughs> you, you're dead, you're dead, you're dead. Next. When the rebellion is complete, you'll see the safer world we provide. Well, you won't, but you get the point. Do it. Do it. Do you win? Oh! We can weaken, weaken them a little bit. Oh no! My burst laser. They have a lot of guns. We have a cloak. We have a cloak I'm gonna power up to maximum capacity so I can kill their crew members. Ugh, you're actually a little bit wounded. You guys get wounded very quickly here, don't you? <laughs> Welcome aboard. <laughs> Hope you don't die. Go to the med bay. You're gonna go to the med bay too. Might as well wait for the cloak cycle as long as possible, and... Nope. Now that we have multiple weapons online at the same time, we don't have to worry so much about enemies with multiple bars of shields, because we can take the shields offline with the lasers, and then the glaive beam will just eat them up. It'll destroy them. Incoming shots. We dodged enough. And that's really all you can you can do. Dodge enough. 36 scrap, which was 39 thanks to that scrap recovery arm. I completely forgot about it. It's gonna take a while to pay for itself, but eventually it will pay for itself. A sun. I do not care about going to a sun. Good lord. I'm gonna get another weapon upgrade, because now I can actually have the hull laser online, which is one more shot. So we have another chance at taking out a bar of shield, another chance of doing more damage with the glaive beam. It's fine. That's an okay thing to upgrade. This Mantis ship has three bars of shields. That's actually a lot for this ship type. Usually they don't have that much. We also don't need to have a lot of shield integrity here, because it's just an ion weapon. Iron weapons suck. 100% chance to dodge, it's a Lido. That means if it lands, it does one, not two. Fire. And fire. Ah, damn. Missile launcher is still online, but that's okay. 40% chance innately of dodging. As long as we have the engines powered up. Good stuff. Hit him again. Oh, try repairing that. Joker. This will kill him. And we're gonna get hit for one. Not bad. I'll take it. 32, 35 scrap. Good enough. It's profit. Pure profit. Profit, profit the profit. How much is six? 60. I mean, four with the cloak works. Let's go the long way around. Let's go to as many beacons as possible. Intruders on board. Oh, crap. Nasty intruders, too. Four mantises? How are we gonna live? We might actually die here. Hopefully not, but it's possible. We kind of desperately have to uh, vent rooms is the thing. No, 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 You fight him directly, please. No, 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 oh my god. Yeah, yeah, vent it. We gotta vent as, like, as quickly as possible. Then we leave. They try to run out. We heal up real quick. We've gotta try to, do like, do as much damage to these guys as possible before they, um, they get back together. Because once they get back together, they're going to be hard as hell to take out. Why are you going that way, you morons? Oh my god. Oh, you fucking idiots. Pieces of garbage. Absolutely. 
It's okay, we're about to kill one of them. A couple of them, rather. You should live. You should leave. You should live. You should leave. Okay, you know what? Start healing up. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta get out of here. <laughs> leave, leave. They can't take out the weapon system. What are you, doors? I can't let you take out my door system, you freaking assholes. Oh my God. I can't even like get in there to delay him. Just gotta hope that the uh, oxygen deprivation works. It does. Open all doors, O2's online. Get the Zoltans out of there, get the humans in there. I want the humans to get the training, because humans are better at combat anyways. Zoltans suck because they don't have a lot of HP. Oh my lord! Okay, we're lit, we, we're alive. We only took one whole point of damage because they destroyed the piloting system. That's an annoying encounter though. Four mantises when we have two humans, two Zoltans, and a Small med bay, uh, no sh no doors. Uh, sketchy, sketchy. But that's fine. We're alive, and they died. How can we prevent that situation in the future? Get the doors upgraded, and basically that's about it. We don't really need anything else right now. That's a that's a wake up call that we we are, we're pretty weak against being boarded though. They're trying to leave. Shit. They're not going to leave though. We're going to kill them. You can bet bottom dollar to that. That's a Hermes by the way. We do need a cloak out of, out of the way of it. 100% chance of dodging. Hopefully the hull, hull laser takes out enough shields that the glaive beam will be able to take out their um, piloting. Yes! Oh man! Great shooting! They are not getting away. Not from this encounter. Oh, fantastic. Actually fantastic shooting. Your credit to your species, Osted. Who thought Zoltans could be so ruthless at the helm? Asteroid field and a ship. Um. One, two. I mean, it doesn't really matter. We can do it. We have a cloak. We got plenty of stuff. Yeah, let's go for it. We should probably get, like, one more reactor power, just so we can have that up. And this ship should be pretty easy to kill with our combination. They have a three-shot laser and a five-shot laser. I'm not worried. 40% chance to dodge. The bomb could be a bit of a problem, but I'm just gonna let it land. It's in the engine room. The five-shot laser is the thing that I'm wanting to dodge, though. That's what we're saving the, uh, the cloak for. We're gonna use it right now. And... They're dead. So we didn't even take hull damage from that. We took system damage from the, the bomb, but the bombs don't do hull damage, so we didn't lose any HP off of that. And in fact, we gained repair skill training two levels worth. <laughs> gonna wait for the cloak because we're currently in danger we have to wait for the cloak to, to go off of the cooldown before we jump well we don't have to but I want to so that I can use it well no maybe you don't have to wait no we we have to wait for the cloak but not for the not for the packet pattern I, I don't know okay it's weird uh I'm going to side with the fugitive no 
So basically, a Mantis teleported ab uh, aboard our ship, and we had a 50-50 chance of getting a free crew member. <laughs> I went for it. Didn't work. But I'd do it again, goddammit. Because I believe in the Mantises. That's totally why. I didn't just want a murder man. He's a good murder man! If you go for the uh, the other option, ex uh, give him up. Give him up in exchange for a bounty. You're not. You will not be able to take hull damage from that. Even if it's the wrong option, quote unquote, and you still have to fight a ship, you don't take any hull damage from that. We went for a different option though. We failed. I mean, no, not not so much we failed as we went for the different option and you know, well, I mean, we kind of failed. It took five points of damage. Store. Kind of exactly what we want. Don't need any of this. Don't need any of this. Although, admittedly, a second Hull Smasher Laser Mark II is really nice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight power for eight shots. Sell that. Is that what we want? Dun, dun. think about this. So at the end of the game, we're going to have to fight the Rebel Flagship. The final boss. Is Hull Laser Glaive Beam good enough? I mean, technically. Technically it is. It takes a long time to charge. Ideally, we'd find a better laser weapon, but would two Hull Smasher lasers and a Burst Laser be better? Eight shots every... 15 seconds as opposed to three shots plus a, uh, a beam every 25 seconds Eight shots every 15 seconds. It's like nearly guaranteed damage Hull laser could be better. I'm gonna save my money It's a it's a good gun But I'll save my money for the time being. We'll see what happens in the future. So instead of doing that, I might actually just want to get, like, a, another crew member. Even if it's just, like, an NG. Rockman could be really nice, too. Immune to fire. Really good against borders. Let's buy an NG. Put him in the door room. Just so we're a little bit better against uh, invaders. Because invaders have really kind of been a... a a sore spot in our run. A minor sore spot, but one nonetheless. Alright, we gotta fight through rebels. This time there is an ASB, an anti-ship battery. Sucks. Well, I mean, you know what? That's actually not that bad. You can fight in there. Go ahead. Go ahead, boys. Get them. Oh, no, we actually do need that powered up. Shit. Basically, eventually, that ASB is going to try and murder us. We want to cloak when that happens. That missile's gonna land, it's just Alito, I don't care. Yeah. Don't care about a two shot laser. This is gonna suck. I gotta. Now's not the time to cloak. But we're gonna have these two people aboard my ship for a little while, I think. Now's the time to cloak. Back a battery. 105% dodge chance, which is excellent. You guys go in here. Ah, oh, shit. I, I gotta, oh man, I already hit the cloak button. I gotta leave the Zoltan in the cloaking room to get the maximum time in the cloak. But that's okay, we're almost able to leave. We can leave right now. Jump. Next sector. NG controlled or Rebel Stronghold? Rebel Stronghold! Let's freaking go! It's actually a really fun sector. Can be. Alright, we got we got borders. We got borders. We're moving boarded. Crap. Man, even just having like the one extra NG really does help. As just being a, a meat shield. I love it. NGs are also really good at repairing. And we've had 
some problems in the past with getting, you know, hull breaches repaired and stuff like that. So it's probably a good idea to pick him up anyways. Rounds out our team, our squad, our crew. So the Rebel Stronghold is one of those homeworld sectors, one of those special sectors. Small sun provides a few orbiting planets. But there's a special event here, a special event where we can fight a busted Rebel flagship, which would be a lot of fun because you get a lot of upgrades for doing it. So we're going to be very quick about getting through the sector. Ah, this is it. You arrive at a beat. You arrive at a beacon to find yourself in a huge rebel shipyard. Scaffolding and construction drones filling the sector. The entire system looks devoted to ship construction. Nearby planets and moons ruthlessly mined to harvest resources for a ship of immense size. Uh, let's look around and oh god, there it is. So this is a uh, warning lights flash as scans indicate the gigantic ship under construction. It's a second rebel flagship. This must be the secret shipyards where the first one was built, and you've accidentally stumbled across it. Even in its weakened state, the rebel ship powers up, gets ready, and you've got a hell of a fight on your hands. Except it's actually a really easy fight. Um, we're gonna be bored and we're gonna kill him. That's basically what's gonna happen. <laughs> they have a lot of HP though, that's the thing. The ship has a lot of HP, but we can deal with it pretty easily. Uh, we're gonna be sending our crew in and out here to make sure that we can actually uh, kill them. You know, you can stay in there for a minute. No, okay, you stay there. You stay there. They have uh, two weapons, a bunch of shields. This is the worst weapon, though. The one on the right. Bang, bang, bang! The triple shot missile launcher. We gotta take care of that. And what we need to do is cloak as much as we can. 95%, good enough. We dodged all three missiles. Man, okay, you guys gotta get healed up. I need you guys to come over here and help with the combat. Empower that. So because we have a moment with our cloak up, I'm actually gonna wait to kill the crew, the enemy crew members as quickly as possible. Like, I want them to die. We have basically free time right now with the cloak active, so we're gonna take advantage of the moment. Okay, and now we're gonna shoot. Wow! We missed with two, that's not good. We're gonna do as much damage as we can and get everyone healed up. They boarded us, it's not that bad though. You go there, you go there, you go there. Need our shit powered up. You go there, you go there. This is not a bad encounter, it's just gonna be a, a bit of a long one because we missed so many of our first shots, unfortunately. Uh, laser's coming in, healing is done. Get that med bay depowered. Yo, go back to your room, please. You are on shields. Shields! Actually, we don't need you on shields. Go to freaking. Go to weapons. I don't care. Just man something. Missiles are gonna come in in a second. Let's get the engines powered up. Can we dodge them? We actually can. I'm surprised. There's a, uh, once again, 95% chance of dodging. Guess we can't go any higher than that. Dodged all three, perfect. Try to kill this crew member. They only have th three crew members left. I don't imagine they're gonna be too ha intent on boarding me at this point. I mean, they could if they really wanted to. Go ahead, go ahead boys, come and get it. Come and head it, C come and head it, come and get it. Your death is served, cold. That's a little more like it, because now we can take out the missile launcher and their entire ship. Jeez. All right. Fuel, missiles, drone parts, 57 scrap, 
free ion bomb, fleet delayed by two jumps, giving us a lot of extra time in this sector. So we can do more exploration. Perfect. So we can go to a store. And yeah, we have a couple of things that we could sell possibly. If there's something that we really, really, really want, if there's a Vulcan, you know, absolutely. But there's not, so we're just gonna sell the Iron Bomb. We could have actually used it. I mean, we could have used that as like our eighth weapon power, but I don't care. Drone control defense drone. We're gonna buy it. We do have a cloak, but uh, you know, this means we can use a defense drone and then maybe some other type of a drone if we get it in the future. We have space for one more major system, primary system, but I don't want mind control in it and I don't want the clone bay. So we're, we're gonna save up. Okay. Everything else is good. We've got a pretty good ship here. Pretty strong. I do worry a little bit about the, uh, the final boss fight. We're not super set yet for killing it, but maybe we'll get there one day. You never know. Not enough power. Oh. Forgot. You suck. They'd have to get very lucky to take out my, uh... My shields and do damage, so I'm just not gonna worry about it, because we're gonna hit him right now. And they left. They're like, wait a minute, we probably shouldn't be attacking these guys. They're really strong. <laughs> What I really want is like a one power heavy laser or something. Oh, you guys are screwed. When those whole lasers hit, I am sorry. Sorry, not sorry. Hey Mud, welcome back. Um, mind control, it's a level two. I'm just gonna use the NG to stop him from destroying the system. Actually, what do I care? Destroy the system. Have at it. You're just gonna repair it anyways and get training from it. What do I care? Have fun. Knock yourself out. I could have killed them if I shot on the shield system. That was dumb. That was dumb, but they're also dead. Mm, 35 scrap. We're up to 104. We have sector... The rest of sector 6. <laughs> Sector 7 and then Sector 8 to gain enough scrap to fully upgrade ourselves. We want to get four bars of shields, some more engine power, one more weapon control plus another weapon. Um, not just a lot of reactor power, but I am going to save my money right now because I don't see any need to spend it. As long as we're fine on these encounters and we're, we're crushing it, why risk it? We're going to lead them to their destination. Their FTL computers are busted. They give us a map, and they said, go here to the quest beacon. We're gonna go there to the quest beacon, but we're gonna take a long way around. Your sensors warn of an incoming rebel ship at the same time as you hear the telltale signs of a teleporter. You hear someone taunt you from within the ship, ready to die. I sure am ready to get a promotion. Oh, come on, you can say it rougher and gruffer than that. I'm I'm prepared to kill you. I'm ready to kill you. You know, you can you can make something work. I mean, we're just going to vent most of the ship at this point. It will be able to bust down the doors pretty easily, but Oh, oh no. Ah. Oh. I messed it up. That's okay. I only messed it up a little bit. 
Where are you guys going? <laughs> it's like they don't know where they want to fight. <laughs> Idiots. I open up all the doors. Okay. And we can hit him for two. I should have cloaked. We're fine. Should have cloaked. There's uh, no reason not to cloak there, especially because it me meant that they could actually get away. That's dumb. We should have gone hard. Gone hard. There we go. Cloaked out of the way of the bomb. Happy now? Yo, put power in the freaking weapon room, please. Thank you. Excuse me. Excuse you. They have a clone bay though, so their crew is gonna come back to life, unfortunately. And our shields are partially offline. We'll get that repaired. But we still got him. Oh, you're trying to escape? Oh, you're trying to surrender? Oh, no, thank you. You're dead. <laughs> they boarded me. A lot of scrap, 45. It was up to 49 thanks to that scrap recovery arm that we picked up like six sectors ago. I hate how my engine personnel is now yellow level <laughs> in combat. I don't want my engine personnel getting in combat, but he's the, my best combat personnel just because he's a freaking human. Zoltans have low HP and NGs suck at combat because they're, they're not pacifists, but they're not very good at punching people. Not very good at all. What do we want? Um, well, I mean, next bar of shields could be a good purchase. We don't need to buy anything right now, though. We're very set. Squeaky chair. Attack him. Remain concealed. Cloak to stay hidden. Um, attack him. Why not? That's what we do. We murder. That looks like a Hermes missile, but I don't want to call it. No, it's definitely a Hermes. Yeah, it's already fired. 105% chance of dodging, and we will be able to hopefully take it offline. Nice shooting. Now we just sit back and relax. <laughs> oh, sucks to be you guys. If only you had a ship that wasn't torn in many, many little tiny pieces, and now is sitting in my cargo hold, waiting for me to turn it into useful items. However the scrap mechanic works. This is a unique one. There's a small planet nearby with scattered settlements. A small rebel fleet is in orbit with many ships ferrying back and forth. It must be a more recently liberated planet. Oh, no. Okay, never mind. <laughs> There's one event in the game that I, I've i only seen... No, I've never seen it. I've only read it because it, it doesn't actually exist. Like, due to a bug, it's not implemented. It's like a first contact situation with a, with a planet or something like that. I don't know. I thought that's what th that event was, but it was, uh, I was very wrong about that. Very, very wrong. I'm just gonna cloak immediately. I'm gonna cloak as, as soon as they shoot. Because we will be able to stop them from getting away. Not a problem. Well, maybe a little bit of a problem, but we can still do it. Oh man, we can do it. <laughs> Oops! Did I do that? We have 263 scrap. Uh, we didn't find a store, but we found someone who gave us free items. I love that. Um, I'm just trying to get away. Ah. I'm gonna use a defense drone. Because uh, the hacking drone that they are shooting at at me, if it hacks my weapons, I probably won't be able to kill them. 
I want to shoot it down. Thanks, Defense Drone. Oh, wow, you're the, oof. Oh, man. Sure, I'm glad I paid 85 credits for you. Garbage. Luckily, it doesn't matter because they're only hacking my door system, but still, that could have, that could have really screwed me up. We gotta take out their uh, ability to escape. Those bombs are coming in. I'm gonna cloak. Hopefully I cloaked in time. I think I did. The FTL is still charging. Will they get away? I don't know, it's close. I hit the wrong thing. We got him. That's very close. I shot the wrong thing though. I should have shot piloting instead of shields. 305 scrap. Oh my lord. Still not spending it. <laughs> I mean, at this point, I kind of want to see how high it can go. All right. Defense drone, please. Shoot. Hey! Please shoot. Oh no. It's okay, it only hacked oxygen. It's not that bad. Hopefully it's not a level two hack. It's a level two hack. It's not a level three hack, I don't think. It almost was. It's a five shot laser and a firebomb. Due to the fact that we have no oxygen, I would prefer to dodge the firebomb. Now, if, if, we, if we hit them correctly here, we can take out their hacking drone. We can take out their hacking drone. Our oxygen is now safe. We should be fine. I know I'm literally now depowering the oxygen system. There's a reason for that. Just want to make sure we have the max dodge chance possible. Good stuff. That was a close one. Could have, could have, uh, could have sucked. Okay, 346 scrap. You know what? Buy that. Buy some of that. You know, that's actually too expensive. That's actually kind of too expensive too. Just buy that. 266 scrap. I want to make sure we can buy whatever we want from a store if we find a store. And now we're gonna be fine. We're just gonna immediately pop the, um, actually we're not gonna immediately pop the backup battery. We don't need to. Oxygen level's fine. Missile launcher sucks. Four bars of shield sucks. I don't think we're gonna be able to punch through their shields that easily, but this combat encounter is just about us getting away. We don't care about actually hurting them. We just wanna flee. So the missile comes in. I'm actually not even gonna use the um, cloak. I'm just gonna use a defense drone. Thank you. And now we're gonna cloak. Because ASB is going to be coming in in a second. We have 100% chance of dodging it. Everything missed. Let's go uh, hit him with one. Yeah. Mantis Homeworlds. Absolutely. You know, you just got to hit him before you jump away. Just to kind of, you know, show him who's boss. I'm fleeing, not because I can't kill you, but because I'd just rather not deal with your BS. <laughs> Asteroid Field. Sun. Pulsar. I mean, choose your doom, really. Pulsar sucks. Pulsar can kill you. Like, you, you could have the best run in the game and then the Pulsar could just say, you know what? Die. So no, we're gonna go with the sun. Mantis ship? Yeah. Well, I mean, of course it's a mantis ship. We're in a mantis sector. What are you thinking? What you buying? <laughs> No, actually it doesn't matter. Our shields are fine. I'll keep them, keep them as high as they'll go though. I just care about the bomb. They left. What jokes. All right, you know what that bomb, 
It must be a uh, ion bomb because it's not fired yet. There it is. Definitely want to dodge that. That bomb can really wreck your ship if you let it. So too powered up. Yeah, it is. It's a fire, and you'll put it out. He's good at that. And we are boarded again. Oh, fucking lovely. Okay. Luckily, their ship is now just like totally deceased. So once we deal with these mantises, we're on the home stretch. Oh my god, they almost took out my oxygen. What jokes? What jokers? Jokes and jokers. Jokes and japes. I'm gonna have to have the pilot help out with this too, I think. Yo, actually leave the O2 powered on, please. I'm just gonna filter crew in and out to try to kill these mantises. We'll get them one day, don't worry. We do need to leave at some point, though. I guess we're just gonna get hit by the, the solar flare again. We didn't take any damage, which is great. These freaking mantises. They're just so good at combat. Good job, Engie. <laughs> As they finally in enter the room, it's like, ah, we're here just in time. Poor Engie having to put out the fire. He doesn't mind, though. He doesn't feel pain. He's a robot, actually, so he doesn't feel pain. Probably not, anyways. Ship, ship, beacon. We want to find Kazakhpathkalink. I want a mantis. We have sensors, we have a level two medbay, we can we can find him. Uh mantis ship that appears not to have noticed you. We'll attack him. This is what we do. Now I think I've learned my lesson. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna cloak and kill the crew members before they have a chance of actually getting away. Because I wanna kill the mantises. We're also gonna do a little bit of crew micromanagement here. Zoltans are, are physically weak, they only have 70 HP, so I want them in the back line. And we... I'm just gonna cloak right now. I wanna, I wanna make sure that these crew members die, I really do. Good. Wow! That's not good. It's a lot of misses. Firebomb sucks. I need more dodge chance, where's my... Oh, my power is in uh, things that it probably should not be in right now. You know what? Drop the shields, please. You know what? Man the engines, please. You know what? Put out the fire, please. 35% chance of dodging, it's enough. We only need needed to dodge one because of the uh, four bars of shields that we can put out now. Uh, okay, get healed up. Ha, you missed, sucker. They only have two crew members left. Oh my god, we missed with everything. No, oh, nice shooting, buddy. Who are you shooting at? No one. Alright, go back to your rooms. Close the doors. Power this. This. Are you fucking kidding me? There we go. That's the damage output I'm looking for. Can you put that out? Before we take whole damage from it? Yeah, you got it. Good. Okay. Not really an annoying fight, actually. Pretty standard fight, really. Just a, a bad first shot, a couple of fires, that's about it. Mantis ship, mantis ship engaging a civilian hails you. Stay out of this human, else you are next. We're gonna, gonna aid the civilian ship. Why would we not aid civilians? 
Our own people. I guess we're military, probably. Secret military. Secret military man. Secret military man. I'd rather dodge the missile. Oh, they fled already. Oh, damn it. Every time I forget to pop the, uh, the cloak so that they can't flee. <laughs> and every time I mess it up. You'd think that one day I would remember that. Hey, make sure they don't get away. Although they're still wounded. They don't have a med bay, which is great. I'm gonna hit him like this. Actually, I wanna hit him like this because I can kill the mantis. Oh, got him. Got him, boys. Oh my god, they're freaking boarding me in there. These guys are jerks. These guys are big jerks. Oh, there goes my uh, ability to have a freaking door control system. They only have one NG and one Mantis boarding me. That's not that bad. We can take care of that. In fact, I kind of want to cloak so they can't get away, so I can take care of it. Let's do that. You leave, you get in. There we go. You repair that. Let's have an auto dodge. Let's get rid of that auto dodge. We have 0% chance of dodging. Oh my god. Okay, get that repaired. <laughs> What an annoying fight. We do have a little bit of an auto dodge, but we should really have someone actually in the piloting system. So why don't we have Pippa Luck get into the piloting system? He's a pilot anyways. Until we can get the med bay repaired and everyone else healed up. Oh my god. <laughs> you sons of guns. Yeah, give me a minute, Pippa, Pippa Luck. You get healed up now. Should actually have the power out of the cloaking system if we're not going to use it for that purpose. There we go. I guess we did just literally get hit there, so it's not like it's been that way forever. Right, you go there, you go there. The piloting system is now offline again. Good luck, you get back into the piloting system. You get out of there. <laughs> This Mantis is having a hard time. He just got the O2 system repaired. Unfortunately, I am gonna destroy it again. And I'm gonna I'm gonna suffocate their entire ship. No, you're going to die and you're gonna get suffocated and you're gonna die, because I don't care about you anymore. Get out of here. Oh my God, we're taking damage too. Because this fight just lasts forever. Fuck, cloak, just delay, delay of game. Ugh. And they're dead. They're dead! That was an annoying encounter. Four bars of shields is still something that's difficult for us to get around. We, we really do need some way of addressing that. Because we're only going to come up across more difficult and more difficult ships as we go. Extra reactor power, I think, is going to help. So if we find Kazak, good. If we don't, we should just try to find a store and buy some more weapons, I think. Oh my freaking god. <laughs> well. Get the med bay powered up, I guess. Wow, these guys are tough. They must be like really good combat mantises. They almost killed my Zoltan. Jerks. Wow, they almost killed that Zoltan too. These guys have to be like max level combat or something. That's pretty ridiculous. I mean, we're gonna get them. Just annoying that they can almost kill my crew members that quickly.
Come on. Come on, Pippa Luck. Heal up faster, buddy. Alright, ship, ship. This is a dead end down here, so I don't want to go down there. I want to go up. I want to go up and push forward and try to find the shop. You overhear Mantis comm chatter. Negative, I have killed more humans. You gulp noticeably. <gasps> I gulp because I'm excited for combat. But luckily they don't seem to have noticed you. We're gonna attack them. Why would we not attack them? That's what we do. We're a bunch of stinkers. Okay, engine room. You go there, you go there, you go there. Depower that. We're gonna kill them. We're gonna, we're gonna cloak. Before they get away, and we're gonna murder them. We're gonna slaughter them, and they're gonna die. Let's make sure we actually do it correctly this time, though. Hey, we have to. We're actually forced to because of the uh, incoming missile in a second. There it is. Bad active, and then we'll get bad active. 85%, 95. Now these mantises, oh good, dodged it. These mantises are gonna be a bit of a pain in the butt to kill, but if we can kill them, that means they're not gonna be able to board me again. So we definitely want to kill them. We might not be able to, ah, I think we will. It's gonna be very close though. Nope, they got away, shit. But you know what, if they're going into the med bay, we can just shoot them in the med bay. Nah, I really do want to shoot them in the uh, weapons room though. Oh, especially right now, because we have a good opening. Take out that missile launcher. You know, if they get healed up and they come back, we'll just, we'll, we'll take care of them. Wow, that's a lot of shots. Hold up. Thank you. Okay, now we can kill them, because they, they're just in one room now. Excuse me? There we go. They're in one room and we can we can gang up on them. So let's make sure that we, actually, let's, I think they're gonna die. Wow, their, their freaking teleporter comes back so freaking quickly. You know what? Hit him in the med, med bay, kill him. Anti-combat drone. It's actually a really good drone. I do like Defense 1 anti-combat drone. Because the anti-combat drone shoots down enemy drones. Oh, imagine that. It's a wonderful piece of, uh, of engineering marble. Get some more stuff upgraded. Get that, get that, get the, uh, get the O2, uh, get the, uh, get the doors. Nah, we'll wait on the doors. We don't need doors. I mean, being boarded by mantises is kind of annoying, but I don't think we need their doors yet. Not yet, anyways. Anyways. Nothing. Where's my store? I need another gun. I searched for a store and it, this is not a store. Game. This is far from a store. That's an Ion Blast Mark II. Um, we don't need it. We don't need to, to cloak though. We can just use a defense drone. I can cloak if I think that the missile might land, or I, I guess I should cloak, because the defense drone might miss. But the defense drone should keep us safe here. It's very unlikely we're gonna take damage. Oh, perfect. Good shooting. Why don't I vent the mantises? The problem is, is that they're gonna bust down the doors quick enough, and if they are in my engine room, I might just wanna fight them. You know, try to kill them before they can leave. And I, you know, I can cycle my crew members in and out. Unless I'm, unless I'm in a, a, a two by two room, I don't wanna cycle that. Cycle that, that's the wrong way of phrasing that. Unless I'm in a two by two room, I don't want to... Uh, you know what, whatever. I don't know what I'm saying, okay? Words. Something, okay? I just want to kill him fast. 53, good enough. Jump. A sun, oh my god, this sector sucks. Fine, you know what, we're gonna go to the sun. We're gonna go to third rock. 
And we're gonna fight some more freaking mantises, because apparently that's the only thing that exists in this sector of space. I hate him. Yes, board me. In a big room. No. Oh, oh, but they're gonna walk into a big room. Perfect. Stay there. You go there. You go there. You go there. Actually, wait, no, you stay there for a mo no, no, you can you can leave, you can leave. Oh, this is what I want. Okay, you go there, you go there, you go there. Come in and fight me, mantises! Hello, how are you doing today? Fuck you, I guess. You're gonna die. Fire the missile, fire the missile. Cloak! Hey, they're dead. We've done it, we finally killed some mantises. Oh, so good! They hurt me, but... They're dead. Oh man, that's uh, not a good shot. But you know what? We can still do some damage. We took the missile launcher offline. Oh, wait. Oh man, we're gonna have to really take care of the fires, won't we? So are they, though. Please take care of the fires. That's another firebomb. A solar flare and a firebomb, huh? That sucks. Oh, well, you know, if it's already destroyed the system. Good luck getting that repaired anytime soon, buddy. Shields have to come online first. Oh my lord, they're taking so much damage. Get out! <laughs> Just heal. Heal up. We'll, uh, we'll vent that room. <laughs> We'll wait on that one. <laughs> oh my lord. They did so much damage so fast. Very surprised by that. Oof. Why is the whole laser not online? Get the whole laser online. You... Don't take out my doors! Oh my god. Okay. Get the whole laser. Back online. Thank you. Close all doors. Open all doors. Oxygen. Dodge. Ionization from this freaking uh, weapon of theirs is starting to suck. I might have to just put my uh, Zoltanes in the shield room to keep it charged. At least they have to deal with the fire too, you know? Not just a one-sided adventure. Nope, go into the shield room. We gotta make sure that we can uh, not get hit by the solar flare. Actually, we could just we could just go to a store or distress beacon. I'd rather not go to a distress beacon with um, ion damage. I'm gonna wait for the ion damage to dissipate. Okay, let's go there. Put out the fire, please. Okay, we almost have everything done, and everything repaired. You here, you here, you heal. You guys are healing next. Almost good to get out of this place. I hate fighting in a sun, but sometimes you just have to do it. Uh, uh, Pippa Luck, get into the piloting room, please. <laughs> you gotta get us out of here. You're a pilot, man! Oh no. He... God damn it, Pippa Pip Luck. I mean, really, I'm the one to blame. But if I can blame him, I will. Okay, took another point of damage, it's fine. I wanna get everything repaired. Before we leave this silly place. There. You go there. Okay. And I, I do wanna go to the distress beacon. Might as well. Him. I don't think it's Kazak, but it might be. It's not. They just need fuel. And they gave me 73 scrap. We have 406 scrap! Please let me buy some stuff. Well, we can buy hacking, which uses more drone parts, but it's really, 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 really good. So I kind of want it. We can get a shield overcharger drone, which occasionally creates a super shield barrier for us. Um, 
I mean, if we have nothing else to spend our money on, honestly, freaking do hacking. Maybe mind control. No, we need hacking. We need to bust through shields. Get the barrier. Repair up. And go to the other store. You can buy a defense drone mark two or crew members. Or or both. We're gonna buy the crew members. <laughs> crew members are really good. Especially a couple of mantises. I would like, especially, to pick up. This is fine. Those guys, and we could also take another NG, but at seven crew members, I think we're set. This is a good beacon for us, I think. Oh man, finally we can like, kill things. <laughs> finally, we're good against boarding. Uh, two combat drones, one beam drone, an asteroid field, ion blast mark two, double shot laser, not too bad. Wow, our shields are already almost completely gone. I'm just gonna cloak... Not yet. I'm gonna try to kill their drones with my hack. I killed one of them? I killed all of them! Excellent! We're about to cloak... Oh my god, the freaking ion. I gotta cloak right now. I need to let the ion damage dissipate off of my shields. And hack is ready to go. Pop the hack, then we shoot. Good enough, good enough. We need to take out their weapon systems first. I think that's the most important thing we can do. I wanted to hit him in shields, but I think this is better. More pertinent. Good, and now their Iron Blast is offline. The Iron Blast is scary. Our anti-drone, though, is doing a good job of killing their drones slowly over time. Give me another cloak. Just give me a, you know, just give me a second. Give me a minute. Hack their drones. By hacking their drone system, by the way, what's happening is I'm killing their drones in the air. They're just self-destructing. Which, combined with the anti-drone, is keeping me really safe. It's real nice. Real nice! Kazak? Kazak? Nope. Rebel ship. They're gonna board us. Dude, have fun. If you think you can board me, go ahead. I I would not recommend it myself, but I mean, you know, you do you, buddy. I got mantises now. That's not in your your intelligence report on my ship. <laughs> he went to a store, but we don't know what he bought. What did he buy? Oh my god, mantises. Yeah, well. Sucks to be you, doesn't it? Uh, shoot him. Ah, no, we're not accepting surrender offer. So the good thing about having the hacking drone is when we fight ships that have four bars of shields, we're gonna have a bit of a problem actually busting down those shields. Not so much now. If I upgrade the hacking drone to level three, I can take four shields offline and then all of my hull laser shots and the glaive beam are gonna land and do damage. So we want to upgrade the hacking part to max level, basically as soon as we can. And I should have done it earlier, I guess, but uh, I wasn't thinking about it. I should have been. But now we can take out enemy shields. We have 34 drone parts. Good lord, that's a lot. And we should be able to take them out. And we are gonna have to go through another rebel fleet. Uh, garbage. It's so nice just having two extra crew members to handle the boarding, because it's like, oh, we get boarded. No, oh, send in the mantises. Send in the mantises! Send them in! Boarded again? Oh, odd. Not really odd, just weird. We're gonna go, we're gonna leave before the cloak runs out. It's not a problem. Oh, you're not 
not dead. Now you're dead. Can we leave? We can leave. Leave! Last stand! Federation Stronghold, Federation HQ. What is the meaning of this? Who are you? Explain who you are, explain the weakness of their fleet. The Rebel flagship is just really big. But once you get over the fact it's really big, it's really not that hard to kill. I wish that they would give me like one more ship. Because <laughs> it's not like it's super heavily shielded or anything. It's only got four bars of shields, but you know, some extra guns might help. Are you telling me that literally you cannot spare anything? Even though your war efforts are fruitless, you cannot spare me anything to defeat this monstrosity that is destroying our people and our federation? I hate you. More than you can possibly know. We need to explore. I would like to find another shop. Weapon pre-igniter would be great. If not, uh, another like one power gun would be great. Honestly, I should have kept the ion, ion burst bomb weapon or whatever it was we had earlier. That would have been really nice. It would allow us to ha just use something with our last eight weapon power. Which we don't have right now, but we could, we could get it. You know what? I've got 34 drone parts. We can kind of show this off, what's going to happen. What's going to happen is they're going to have no shields, and it doesn't matter what gun I use, they're just going to die. Oh, it does matter. <laughs> they had one more uh, hull integrity. That was unexpected. I'll keep, uh, let's go up here. 165 scrap. They're hacking me? Where are you hacking me? I'd like to know where you're hacking me before I hack you back. Because I'm going to hack you back. Oh, you hack me in shields. Oh my lord, that's dangerous. But I think we still hack them in their shields first. Because if, if we can kill them in one blow, then it doesn't matter how much, you know, shield integrity we have. We can kill them in one blow. Uh, we are going to cloak. We're gonna cloak for five seconds. We don't need a long cloak. Cloaking is this one. We're only gonna cloak for five seconds because I want my cloak to come offline and my shields to get charged before their five shot laser fires. And I don't want to cloak for 15 seconds because then they're gonna hack me right as they're firing their gun and I'm gonna have no shields when this big gun fires. So I gotta kinda time when they hack me and when my shields are down and when, you know, when all this stuff is gonna happen. So we're gonna hack them. Get the backup battery up too. When their shields hit zero, we shoot. Right here. Three damage, three damage. Uh, hit them in uh, the weapons again. There we go. Now they have no weapons and they cannot hack me. Good stuff. I think we timed everything roughly correctly. Now we probably could have cloaked for the maximum length of time and been fine, but it's probably still worth it to, you know, be aware of timing and stuff like that. Because it might matter, it might matter eventually. There is a store. We're gonna go to the store right now. Because if we don't go to the store, the rebels might take control of random beacons. And if they take control of the store, we're gonna be very upset. So we're gonna go to the store. And, oh, yes! They have a Burst Laser Mark II. We're gonna sell the Hull Laser Mark II, and we're gonna buy the Burst Laser Mark II. Uh, for one reason and one reason alone, quantity over quality. The fact that we now have a Burst Laser Mark II means that we can have both of the burst lasers online with the glaive beam. So we have five shots, five lasers, plus the beam. That's really freaking good. And that's better than the status effects from the hull laser, from the ability for the hull laser to breach. 
This is so much better. First laser mark two. All honesty, honesty might be one of the best weapons in the entire game. Because if you look at it, it's two power for three shots with 12 seconds charge. That's really good. That's really, really good. So the rebels are gonna take control of this beacon. We can we can bounce around for a minute. You know, we don't have to worry about them right now. So let's just go off and fight that ship in our top left corner. Uh, we should get some more reactor power though. Joni Act 3, welcome back. Yes, this is the same FTL run, run from two hours ago. <laughs> FTL! You either can play it quickly or you can play it slowly. And with the DASR-12, it's usually kind of somewhere in between. So this is a, a bit of a long run, but it's kind of to be expected, really. So we, we can we can take a, a quick shot every once in a while. Wow, we actually missed a lot, but we're weakening them. Yeah, the thing about Stealth B, actually the thing about any of the Stealth Cruisers is that you can lose a run on the first sector. It's happened before. It's happened to me on the first jump, literally. If you can live past the first sector and get shields, you have a chance. Plenty of scrap. Uh, nowhere to go. I'm gonna backtrack and go down, because if I can make it around, I can avoid the rebel beacons. And I can, for the most part. We have to get to the base before the rebel flagship does. But that's not gonna be too hard. We're gonna get boarded. What do we care? We got mantises and an NG. And honestly, because we have freaking this much or sorry, this many drone parts. I'm gonna hack them. I'm gonna hack them, because I don't really care. These guys, ooh, we should cloak at least once. These guys are so unbelievably dead. <laughs> they have one hull integrity. Their ship is on fire. You're on the wrong side of history, man! And they're dead. And we can go to the repair beacon. Get some extra materials and... Turns until the base is destroyed too. We have to fight them at the base. And we cannot flee. If we flee, we lose. So... In that case, let's upgrade as much as we can. Um... More engine power, sure. Extra backup battery power. Well, I, let's actually get hard power first. Doors we don't need for this phase. Piloting we don't need. Sensors we don't need. Drone control we don't need. This is fine, except we've maxed out shields, weapons, reactor power. We are a strong, strong ship. And the first phase of the Rebel Flagship should on honestly be pretty easy to take out. Uh, I will go to one more beacon before the base. Just because we might as well get some more combat, some more rewards if we can. There's nothing here. Okay, let's fight. Turns until the base is destroyed one, which means we have to do it now. First things first, they're gonna hack us. First things first, turn on the O2. But they're gonna hack us, so let's get the defense drone out. If we can shoot down their hacking part like six times, they're gonna run out of drone parts. They won't be able to hack us. One. Two. Oh, we missed the third one, and they hacked weapons. That's bad. But, because we have this hacking part, it's not critically bad. Because we have this hacking part, we can actually still do damage to them, even though they're hacking us for a long ass freaking time. It's bad, but it's not catastrophic. We hack their shields, and we shoot them right as our burst lasers come online. We should be able to do it. 
right now. Good. We did enough damage, I'm happy with that. Who's shooting? Oh, they're shooting. I'll board their own ship. So the thing about the hacking part is that it's it's keeping my weapons unpowered and it's draining the power from them. This is gonna be a, an annoying first phase, especially with a missile launcher that's never gonna run out of ammunition, but we can, we can do it, we can make it happen. It's just gonna be a lot of hacking and a lot of shooting when they have just low shields. We're gonna cloak out of their next missile attack too. Shoot him right now. Okay, we did another couple of points of damage. Uh, I'm gonna cloak out of the missiles. Level one cloak is fine. You know, we actually should have probably done level three. Just so it would last longer. Yeah, that was dumb. That's okay. Okay. So now, we're not gonna be able to shoot in this phase. They're gonna cloak again before we can shoot again. So we might as well. I mean, what are we gonna do? There's nothing really we can do at this point. Just gotta wait. I mean, maybe I can like sneak in a shot or something. I don't know. 48% chance of dodging. <gasps> Oh, one landed, that's not too bad. Mantis can go repair that. And she can help out too, why not? Nah. Thought I'd give it a shot, because I mean we're we're gonna lose the charge on our weapons anyways. What is with our shields? Freaking ionization. God damn it. It's okay. Cloak's repaired. And yeah, we should de definitely be cloaking Max. Now that I think about it. No reason not to. Yes, can I shoot please? <laughs> shields powered up please, thank you. Their shields are now down. I could hit him in their um, missile launcher room which would probably save me damage in the long run, so I might actually want to try to do that. If I can keep their missile launcher offline, we're less likely to take damage. Glaive Beam is so close to being able to fire, but they keep hacking our systems. By the way, them hacking shields and or weapons is worst case scenario, it really is. It's so hard to actually charge our weapons now. Such a pain in the ass. This fight sucks sometimes. But I think we're actually gonna fire the Glaive Beam. We're gonna fire the Glaive Beam. That's right, we've done it. Which means that they are dead. <laughs> Man, it took it took that long to get one shot out of the Glaive Beam. Good Lord, we took only took five points of damage. That's not a lot, not a lot, it's fine. That took a long ass time. That was annoying. Oof. Next phase, what do we want? Next phase, we want a upgraded door system, I believe. Yeah. Everyone go back to your rooms, please. Let's jump. We're gonna put out, um, I, I, no, we don't want the door system. We want more drone power so we can have five drone power in it. But we fix it later. We wanna put out the defense drone and the anti-drone because this phase of the rebel flagship has drones, which are really annoying and they boarded us immediately. Lovely. Mantises get in there. Combat mantises. Also open up all doors, power up the oxygen to level two. This phase of the Rebel Flagship has an annoying amount of drones that we're gonna have to deal with. They also have a defense drone, so we can't hack them. Not easily, anyways. Sometimes you can sneak a hack through. We have 34 drone parts, so I will try. But we're probably just gonna have to shoot them with the burst laser and hope that the glaive beam does a lot of damage, which is fine. It's, it's, if that's what has to happen, that's what has to happen. It's not that bad. Incoming missiles. 
I think we do want to cloak through these at max. And we want to shoot. Wow, we, uh, you know what, we missed with so many shots, I'm not even going to shoot the Glaive Beam, it's not worth it. I want to just wait and, uh... I just want to wait. Get that repaired, please, Mantises? Hey, thank you. That's a lot better. Take out the shields, take out their piloting, take out their shields. I already said that, take out their missile launcher, rather. <laughs> and keep hitting them. Oh, they're wounded. Keep getting them. Get that medbay powered up. Because they're going to be boarding us again in a second. Although we may have shot down their boarding drone. That's what I was hoping out of the defense drone. Just shoot down their bo boarding drone over and over again. But it didn't work. But when the enemy shields go down, good lord, does that Glaive Beam do so much freaking damage. I love it. Okay. 42 scrap. What do we upgrade? Let's upgrade... Drones, just so that if we get shot in the drone system, we can keep the drones online. And then let's get the shield drone out. Shield drone might be useful. Actually, it might be really useful. Anyways. Third phase, Rebel Flagship. Let's do it. This phase is really annoying because they are going to mind control my crew members and board me. We gotta kill them extremely quickly. And we gotta shoot them very hard. Luckily we have good door systems and we can kill their crew members as they run through my ship trying to murder me. Rude, I know. We have a missile launcher still. Missile launcher sucks. Here it comes. Do we cloak out of the missile launcher? I think the answer is yes. So, um, we got and or um, Zoltan's in there. We might as well do a full cloak. Good. I love that their crew members are like slowly trying to get into the uh, the door room because it meant that they weren't actually shooting me. They weren't attacking me at all. Now, unfortunately, they almost... Oh, I didn't mean to fire the Glade Beam. Because they're going to fire another power shot out of the ship. <laughs> Luckily, the cloak was still online. <laughs> That's what I wanted. Okay, good stuff. Hack them in shields. We're being boarded. Um, oh, our... Um, NG, he's not being mind controlled anymore. Oh, I love it. Everyone go back to your rooms except for the mantises. Go fight those guys, mantises. The hack landed, because, I mean, of course it landed. Um, and we're gonna wait. We're gonna wait for the glaive beam to almost get charged, and then we're gonna hack their shields down. Mantises are doing fine. Incoming missiles. We can't cloak out of these missiles, so let's get the dodge chance up as high as it'll go. We got hit by two. And unfortunately, one started a fire. We gotta put that fire out ASAP. And... Okay. Glaive Beam will take out the mind control system and the uh, missile launcher. Burst lasers will take out their shields, slightly. The oh, missile launcher has four integrity. I always forget about that. <laughs> I always forget about that, every time. We're gonna take a lot of damage here. Our cloak was just not yet ready, barely not yet ready. I should have only powered it up to level one last time. No, actually, it was perfect last time. We just needed a little bit more uh, power on it, I think. That's okay, that's okay. Everything's going fine. No, Nobody's gonna die aboard the ship, okay? You're not gonna die on me, man! 
We're about to get shot at by missiles, though. Oh, no, we're not. We took it offline. At the right moment. Get stuff repaired, please. Mantis has fixed up the breach. Go kill him. Uh, you and you go heal up, because you're almost dead. I prefer it if you didn't die. The fire is spreading aboard their ship. Oh, oh, I feel sorry for your ship, man. You know, if only you weren't such assholes about things, trying to murder me all the time. You know, I'm just, I'm just working for the, for the government, man. And yet you guys have to try to take control of the freaking known universe. You're the worst. We're gonna, our, our ship is gonna be very pretty before we finish this. Hold up. Uh, you guys need to get healed. No, no, get out of there, mantises. Everyone go back to your rooms except for you two. We're gonna have the prettiest ship. And we've done it. <laughs> ah, the DASR-12. That glaive beam. The glaive beam is such a good weapon if you can enable it. And thanks to the hacking drone, we were able to. Take out enemy shields, even if they have four bars. And then if you can hit four rooms, that's 12 damage. If you can hit five rooms, that's 15 damage. Absolutely insane. It's also on a high score list. It's actually my best high score with that ship. <laughs> on this save file anyways, 6688. It's in the top five. That's the top five. It's good stuff. It's a great ship. I'm still so surprised at my number two high score, the Simo H, the C-type stealth cruiser. That ship, I thought, sucked balls, but apparently I guess we just had like a perfect freaking run on it. Good lord. Either way, good run. Good ship. Can be a good ship anyways. Stealth Cruiser, B-type layout. That Glaive Beam. It's so good early, even if it does take a long time to charge, but once you get shields, once you get like another laser weapon, it's a lot of fun. I like it. Anyways, um, for those of you on YouTube, hey, Thank you very much for watching. Like the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe for more. You can check me out on Twitch and Patreon to support me and know when I go live. And Don J, thank you for the follow. I have a whole series of FTL on YouTube. You can check it out.